So uh, there's Sam there. So this is uh, what happens when we show up for an install. It uh, usually looks like this. Um, we've loaded all our gear off of a pallet into the walk-in cooler. So this is pretty much our whole uh, gear set. We've got glycol, the dispenser, tap display. Those are the uh, panels that we mount on the wall. Um, the beer line is gonna end up going from up in the ceiling there, where the uh, top of that white pipe is, goes down this wall, goes underground, and shoots up to where the beer is gonna be served. So this is a fine example of the before of a draft beer install. The other end of that pipe we were looking at comes up right there. So we'll pull the beer lines in underground. Dispenser will sit on the counter with the tap display and we'll show what the finished product looks like. So this is trunk line. In this case, this is 80 feet of six product with two glycol chilling lines inside of it. So this is the, the black stuff you see is the outer protective jacket. There's foam and then there are eight lines in there, six of which are beer, two of which are black. All right, so we're in the back of the kitchen. There's the keg room that the kegs are in. And here's the glycol power pack. This is a unit that'll serve 125 feet of beer line. And if you look up, you'll see a blue line and a red line that are attached to that little foam thing. That's actually a motor that's pumping the liquid that is contained inside this thing. Currently is at 55 degrees, it's going down to 29. And you can see that it's going into this beer line up here and it is sending it this way and then returning from this way in a complete circuit. Um, it is surrounded by the beer lines in the system. It is designed to keep the beer that is outside the cooler chilled down to the 29 degrees that this unit is set at. So this is a glycol power pack and that's what it's used for. Chilling down front line. All right, we've got finished product long draw six line bottoms up system. So as we talked before, here's the trunk line coming out of the chase going up to the dispenser. The dispenser itself flips up, need access to the bottom of it so that you can uh, maintain NSF certification for cleaning and uh, other items. But this is the completed long draw draft beer system at the dispenser. Okay, as you can see in the corner, that's where the beer lines that I showed at the dispenser end come from. In this case, we're about 80 feet away in the walk-in cooler, so the kegs are going to be stored on this wall. These are our long draw panels with beer pumps on. So the black items are beer pumps. That is an empty keg detector, beer pump empty keg detector. These are CO2 regulators that control the pressure to the beer pumps right here. And then this is the pressure to the kegs themselves down to the keg couplers. So this is a overview of a completed long draw six product bottoms up draft beer system.